What's up guys from the 860 this is QCB quiet corner builds um, I'm not I'm not really uploading as much as I would really like to but then again I have you know a wife a daughter a normal job and you know trying to build my car and working on other people's cars for um, for side work get some extra cash to get this thing going um, so a little update on what I've I've ordered what I have um, over here behind me um, it's kind of a sneak peek of what I'm building but I'm not gonna tell you what it is if you guys can figure it out that's great grand um, guess in the comments below but you know guarantees I'm not telling anybody all right so first off what I got going on is is very very which, how should I put this? I should say it's it's very. You know what? I don't even know how to say it. But what I'm gonna say is, it's gonna take a lot of money for what I want. And I'm about not even a quarter of the way there, and I'm trying to hit a deadline by May. So we'll see if I can keep up with it. Um, but I doubt it. But I still have my goal of May. I want to drive it this summer. So hopefully I can get there. So, no further ado, let's, let me show you. All right, so, here's the cylinder head, a little quick peek. All the engine components, labeled. Um, I'm not gonna show you anything specific, like the head stamp or anything, because I want you to know what, you know, figure it out on what it is. Um, but right here, I have a stage five um, four pad competition clutch kit, um, unsprung. I have the ARP bolts for the flywheel. Um, that's not here, it's actually in my car. I can't show you the flywheel or anything else because it'll, it'll be a dead giveaway. Um, here's the clutch ARP bolts. I have a lightweight BMS crank pulley, harmonic balancer, not really harmonic balancer, but two row. Um, let's see. Under here, I have, you know, pod pillar, sandwich plate, couple gauges, radiator hoses, um, dash AN fastener pieces water palm um, a couple little oil cap some dress-up kits I have uh, dash 10 a.m. Uh, line over there for a um, um, for a uh, geez brain for it late at night um, for the catch can oil catch can and over here, we have um, Dremel pieces. We have some valve guides, exhaust and intake, valve seals, exhaust and intake, and then we also have these retainers, titanium retainers with dual valve springs. Um, this is definitely a high pressure spring setup. Um, I am definitely gonna need it, all of it. Um, but that's actually for me to bring to the, to the machine shop. I'm actually bringing it this week. Um, and my buddy's dad works there and he used to work there but now he, you know became a technician so he's actually gonna help me uh, port and polish the cylinder head and and get everything all situated um, his random engine pieces harness old flywheel pistons rods and just stand from when I brought it down here and uh, I actually have all my interior pieces here from my car so I have like the back seats the dashboard sitting there you know, the inner rear panels of the hatch door panels you know a radiator but I'm not going to use that radiator so if anybody needs a radiator and you know close to the 860 area let me know so that's you mad cheap 
we got headlights and I'm actually keeping all the uh, bore motor and stuff like that no AC though obviously um, spare rear hatch glass if anybody needs one hit me up I don't need it um, bucket of random parts but yeah that's uh, that's pretty much what I'm up to um, the car is actually going the car actually went to a buddy of mine's house and he welded up the mount that I needed, welded up in the tunnel and everything. Um, and it just, it hasn't made it out of his yard yet to go to my cousin's to get, um, to get painted, body works, so such and such. Um, but I'm hoping to pressure my cousin in the next couple weeks because his race car is actually in there right now. He does, you know, NASCAR type shit. And he's got to get his car out of there, put it in the trailer, so my car can go in his garage and we can start on the bodywork. So I'm going to try to put some pressure on him to try to get it done. And then I'm going to show you every, you know, you guys, everything that I'm doing, you know, when I, I'm going to bondo and, and shave and um, the whole engine bay. It's going to look nice. And then do all the bodywork, sand it, paint it, so on and such. Um, I actually, I was going to originally go with a... Uh, voltage metallic blue which is actually an Acura Integra color but I changed my mind because it's not exactly the correct blue tint that I want um, and I'm not 100% sure on the blue tint that I'm, I, I've chose otherwise um, but I chose Bayside Blue which is from only from an R34 GTR so We'll see how it comes out. It should look good, regardless. Blue always looks good. It doesn't matter where you put it on. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get that going. I'll bring you guys along. Make sure. Um, just make sure that you, you know, comment what you want to see. Comment what you don't want to see. You know, critique. It's all right. I know. I'm not gonna get butter over it or anything. No hard feelings. Um, let me know what I can do to make it better for you guys. Um, and I have to I really have to do you know a shout out you know they don't tell me to do this or anything but definitely a shout out to like Zosh and, and um, you know Booster Boys Adam LZ it's it's really actually inspiring me to do this for you guys and hopefully show my love for for cars um, so I'm gonna bring you along this trip and hopefully along the road I can show you some other builds of you know friends of mine and so on and so forth all right so stick with me and i'll be back